All right, folks, what we have here is something called a stream table. This stream table here um, represents, you know, a large area. In this case, we, we made it so it's kind of like South Carolina. Um, here you have the beach. You have, uh, you know, the sky wheel. We have Highway 501. We got the waterway. Um, we got Columbia. We got the upcountry here. We even got... Clemson. So this model here is going to represent, you know, the whole state of South Carolina. And what we're going to do with this stream table is demonstrate how weathering, which is the breaking down of rock, erosion, the movement of rock, and how sediments created by weathering, the little bits of rock, are deposited in new areas to create different landforms. So what weathering can do is break down rock, erosion will move rock, and those bits of rock will be deposited in new areas and create new landforms. So this stream table will allow us to model that and demonstrate how this these processes actually occur in uh, large areas all over the Earth's surface. So some landforms that we have here are we, we have some mountains in the upcountry. Um, we have riverbeds. We have uh, buildings and roads. We have beach and shoreline, such as Myrtle Beach. And um, once we use this container here, which will be, you know, our, our rain, which is Water is one way things could be weathered by water, not the only way, but in this case, we're going to use this watering can to represent rain, which would not technically weather or break down this rock, but it will certainly, the water will certainly erode these sand sediments and it will deposit, the water will deposit the sediments somewhere else and create new landforms. So I'd like you guys to think about, you know, what would happen? What do you think is going to happen to these mountains once we have water introduced into this model? What do you think is going to happen to this riverbed? What do you think will happen to some of these buildings and roads? And what do you think is going to happen to the shoreline here, such as Myrtle Beach? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this watering can to represent rain. And let's see if your predictions happen. Now what we're trying to pay attention to is some landform changes. Are there changes to the mountains? Are there changes to buildings? Are there changes to roads, riverbeds? Is there changes to the beach? Are there landslides? Are there changes to the landforms over a vast area of South Carolina? So I think a lot of us made some predictions that there would be changes. Now, clearly we have some changes to mountains were eroded away. Now I would love it if a stream table would actually model weathering because the water isn't specifically making the big rocks into little rocks and the water isn't necessarily making the sand particles into smaller sand particles. So the stream table isn't exactly modeling weathering per se, but what it is modeling very well is erosion. The water is carrying sediments or particles of rock and then depositing them in other areas, creating different landforms. So clearly we have the mountains eroded away. We have the riverbed, you know, is dramatically changed. There's a lot of deposition sediments in the riverbed. We have buildings and roads, you know, clearly affected. We have, I would say the beach is significantly changed. I mean, you got the, uh, the sky we had nearly underwater. And there were, I would say, several, if not many, landslides where entire segments of large landforms moved over time. So what this is what this is doing is that over 
thousands of years, millions of years, maybe even billions of years, water will have a tremendous effect on the surface of the earth and cause dramatic landform changes. Another thing I wanted you guys to notice is that the larger particles moved less than the smaller ones. So the water has enough force to move the smaller particles, but the larger particles are seem to be left behind. So it didn't, the water didn't really have enough force to move the larger particles. Not that they couldn't move, but you know, what we see is, you know, the smaller particles are deposited here in the beach. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you is that sometimes what happens is, is we have something like, you know, pollution. So what will happen is if pollution is introduced up here, the pollution tends to always run down and end up at the beach, which is significant for us because we live at the beach. So the one thing is pollution will have a dramatic effect on an area like beaches, which is why there are laws to prevent that from actually happening. So what the stream table does is it could show us, you know, in a short period of time, what nature and water and weathering can do to large areas of the surface of the earth, not just South Carolina, over thousands and millions and billions of years. So stream table is a very effective way to model erosion and deposition to create new landforms, such as changes to the beach, changes to riverbeds, changes to mountains over long periods of geologic time. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.